Scott Morgan here, Michigan Sports Radio. Joining me tonight are three gentlemen from the Coopersville Varsity Football Team. I'll let them introduce themselves. Go ahead. Jack Wilkinson. I'm Tyler Axel. I'm Sam McDonald. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. I appreciate you taking the time out here tonight. Uh, Sam, we'll start with you. Uh, number on your jersey, does it mean anything, any special meaning? No, just uh, back in eighth grade football year, I knew the year before, Oh, Bo Harris had 11. I thought it looked pretty cool, so I took it up when he wasn't there. All right. Tyler, how about you? Not too much. I just got given it when I was younger and yeah. stuck with it ever since. Jack, how about you? No, not really, but a lot of people say it's a big deal since it was Gabe Van Sickle's old number. Okay. All right. No problem there, right? Nope. Who's that? What? Gabe who, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, Jack, uh, any hobbies that you do outside of football? I like to weight lift a lot. Yeah. I do track. I do track. I do shot put and discus in the spring. Okay. Those are the, any else thing in the winter? Do you wrestle or anything like that? Or no, mainly just weight lifting. Weight for lifting football. for football. Okay. Say, so, yeah, let's talk a little bit about uh, last Friday night's game. Get your get your thoughts and what you saw there. You know, our offense. You know, had a great game. We only had one drive. We didn't score on and. Uh, I just think we could play a little bit more physical on defense, and we we know what we 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 messed up on, so we're gonna fix it for this week. Okay, Tyler, how about you? Get your I thoughts. agree the same thing. Offense had an amazing game, putting up forty one points. Defense, there's many different mistakes that we had that we need to fix for next week. Okay, All right, Jack, we'll get back to you. Um, favorite music you like like to listen to? I like to listen to rap music. Rap. Who's your favorite artist? Plus you, Malone or Kanye West. Okay, all right. Uh, who do you consider Coopersville's biggest rivalry? Probably West Catholic or maybe Kenwa even. Okay. So now that Kenwa's in yeah. in this league and starting to feel that little pressure there from last week. Okay. Tyler, how about you? Who, who? For me personally, it's I'd say it's West Catholic. West Catholic. Sam? Yeah, probably West or Allendale. West or Allendale? Okay. Uh, talking a little bit, again, we'll continue on with the game. Um, there was a couple things that really went well, Tyler, you know, defensively and off- offensively. Uh, give me one example from, you know, that night that you remember that we really, that Broncos really did well at. I know our offensive line, they're always great. Whenever we're passing, they always give Bo time to develop the play and throw the ball. Whenever we're running, they always just run people over and give Bobby room to run. Sam, how about you? you? I mean, being on offense, I mean, yep. what do you see what do you see there for offensively for the Broncos? Well, all practice, like all throughout the week, uh, Ty Arthur, he was really going hard on our receivers, like making them block them really hard and everyone was like, "Oh, he's just, you know, being a being a little <laughs> little something." But turn like during the game, we had amazing blocking on the edge with our receivers to let me take the bubble out. And it was just, it was perfect. It was it, what we planned it. The way you planned it. Yeah. So, again, you know, again, that's where, you know, the hard work at practice does make a difference there. Yeah. Jack, would you agree with that, you know, yeah. working at the practice? Yeah. You know, we're just truly getting better. I thought our offense did a good job throughout the game. You know, we had some good plays on both sides of the ball. Okay. Excellent. Um, again, we'll, we'll stick with you, Jack. And like I said, I'm kind of trying to get you to know a little better. Favorite meal or snack? I like steak a lot, and my favorite snack's probably Oreos. Oreos? Double stuff or regular Oreos? Double stuff. Double stuff. Have you tried the new, the vanilla ones? Or? I don't think so, no. Try them out. I'm just saying. You'd be surprised at really how good those are. The chocolate was my favorite one, and then I, started, I tried those, and really, really good. Uh, Tyler, how about you? Favorite snack? Ooh, I'm a big Gushers guy. They're really good. Gushers. Sam? Uh, I don't know. I just like like some chips. Like some chips? Yeah. Defensively against that passing quarterback, uh, he, he liked to throw the ball all over the place. Yeah. How did that affect you back in the de- in the defensive backfield? Well, we were playing, like, through practice. We were really preparing for the pass, and so we had it down pretty good. We knew our areas, and we knew what the routes they liked to run, and it made the quarterback scramble a lot. And so I feel like we did a good job making him scramble, which is what he didn't want to do. But, you know, he, he didn't have anyone to throw it to because we were so so all over him. Covered up real well there. Yeah. Tyler on the, on the defensive line there, I, again, 
you pressure that how how infuriating is that that sometimes you know when a quarterback just gets away just at that last second yeah it always sucks when a quarterback can just get out of the pocket right before we're able to tackle him and it, yeah and so we'll talk a little bit more about what's coming up next but uh for jack here jack uh do you prefer a tricked out truck or a uh muscle car muscle car muscle car all right do you like English or math? English. English. Hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Here's the good one. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Oh, man. Pepsi's taking a beating. The <laughs> golf team, all the girls like Coke as well. Oh. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream. What flavor? I'd definitely say chocolate. Chocolate? All right. Do you like boating or snowmobiling? Boating. Boating. Favorite class? Probably. That's a hard one. I definitely say weight training. <laughs> yeah, weight training. <laughs> Sam, what Probably weight training. Weight training, weight training, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Sam, we've got Big Rapids yep. um, this week. What are we going to need to do offensively to uh, defeat this team? Well, I think uh, we'll just do what we've been doing. We keep running the ball. Last week, Bo had like. 100 or like 140 50 rushing yards himself so i feel like we're doing pretty good up there and i think we're just going to keep it rolling okay tyler defensively you know up front there what are we going to have to do in you know order to uh get a victory for the broncos i hear they've got a pretty good running staff Mm -hmm. up there yeah and they're very physical up front so we're gonna have to fire off the ball hard hold our gaps not get pushed off the ball and hopefully get a couple tackles Okay, what do you see? You know, who who am I, Who should I look for offensively f- for Big Rapids when I'm calling this game Friday night? Their running back runs so hard downhill, and they're both run hard and are very shifty. So we're okay. gonna have to keep watching them and just follow where they go. So mainly, we're looking at watching the hips to kind of make sure mm-hmm. we're not watching the feet or the upper yeah. body. The hips are. Can't go without those, right, yep. Sam? Yep. As you know, as you're yeah. <laughs> running the ball, yep. you can do all the everything up with your legs and everything in your upper torso, but your hips will always go where you need to go. Yep. Okay. Uh, Jack, real quick question for you. What makes a good teammate? Someone who cares about everyone else and just knows what they're doing and is willing to make themselves better every single day. Okay. Tyler? Yeah, I agree with him, man. Agree? Also, somebody who's always willing to show up and not just help themselves, but also help everybody else get better. Always either going hard on scout team or coaching up others that may not know what to do. Okay, Sam, I'm like, same yeah. thing, or you got? Yeah, same thing. Like you know, they know when to joke around, but they also know when like to to get in shape. Like they know when to put you down. <laughs> the time to get time to go to work and everything like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, offensively, Sam, you know. Going against their defense, what type of defense do they typically run up at Big Rapids? It's usually the same as us, 4-2. 4-2, okay. So it's nothing we haven't seen or that we've gone against. Not really. Okay. Um, Looking at that, uh, last week, like you had mentioned, Bo had three touchdown passes. And two rushing. Two rushing. Maybe three rushing. Three rushing. Yeah. He had two breakaways for... Uh, 72 and 63 yards. So, it, again, Tyler, when you see that, I mean, what – and, Jack, when you see that on the sideline, you know, what's that feel like to watch him take off and break that way like that, Jack? No, just – I don't know. When you see Bo take off and run for, for a big, long touchdown, what are you, what are you thinking at Show that Show that our offense is doing their job, making plays. Okay. Tyler? Yeah, it's always an amazing feeling, just – Seeing all the boys doing well, and I'm on PAT, so I always get a run up there and high five everybody. So <laughs> yeah. it's always a good time. Good time there. All right, um, Sam, do me a favor. What would you give? Give me one word that would describe Jack for you. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, well, I like that. Jack, give me one word that would describe Tyler. Smart. Smart. Tyler, one word for Sam. Driven. Driven. I would agree with all three of them, guys. It's, yeah, they're duo. Sam is very driven, very intelligent, 
and yeah, Jack, awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. Can't go any better than that, you know. Yeah. So I like that. Um, future plans? Uh, I plan on going to MSU to become a veterinarian. Nice, Sam. Future plans? I don't know yet. Don't know. That's all right. Still working There's on it. Still got a lot of time. You yeah. still got many, many years to get that figured out. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you taking out the time here tonight, uh, sitting down with me and talking about uh, getting to know you all a little bit better. Uh, we wish you the best of luck against Big Rapids. Two games left, gentlemen, and they're two. Uh, they can't be any bigger than these last two games. So yep. we'll be there to call the game and cheer you guys on from the booth. You may not be able to hear me, but uh, you know we'll be cheering as loud as we can through the yeah. microphone. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank Have you. Have a good day.